The digitizer allows you to capture data from images of graphs, to import an image file of a graph into Origin, and digitize data points one by one, click the Digitize Image button on the standard toolbar. Browse to select your image file. The image is opened onto an Origin graph, and the Digitizer dialog is opened. The first thing we need to do is construct the coordinate system. X1 corresponds to this vertical cursor. This is X2. y2 and y1. Now before we can do that we should rotate this image. There's a rotate image button so if I click on that it will allow me to rotate by 0 0.5 degrees here. We can specify this. So let's click a couple times and now it might be a good idea to come to the graph, make it active, hold down the Z key on the keyboard, which allows me to use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in on the graph. We can also pan. So now we can get a better sense here as we rotate. And we can then click on the Y1 and drag it up. You can use the arrow keys as well and you see we're pretty good. We may want to rotate further just a little bit. Once that's lined up, we then need to specify the axis value. So that's located at 10 to the minus 2. So Y1 here is 1e to the minus 2. And now we need to set y2. Click on this cursor, drag it up. We can go all the way to the axis end or we can click on the last known tick label here. I'll use the arrow keys to move it down a little bit. So that is on 10,000. It's a log scale, so I'm going to set that. And then I'm going to repeat those steps for my X scale. So clicking on this, dragging this over here. And that is 10 to the minus 6. So that's 1E to the minus 6. And then our X2 is at value of 1. Now once we've done that, we need to click the rotate button to get out of the rotation mode. And now we can begin to pick new points. So I click on that. The get points dialog comes up and it allows me to select some points. I'm going to get the triangles here. So I click on a point. It shows me the values here. And I just need to double click or hit enter and then continue selecting points. This can be dragged out of the way here. I'll just select a few points. I'll hit done. We're brought back to the dialog with the controls here. If I want to see the data, I can go to the data that was generated. We can double click here to see all the points. I can go back to the graph, go back to the image with the graph, or the graph with the image on it. And then I can continue picking points. Now when I want to generate a new data set, we also have these circles and squares. I need to click on Start New Data. So Start New Data clears things for me, and then I can pick new points. Let's go ahead and grab these circles. Hit Done. And then if I look at the data, I have a new set of XY data. We can go back to the image and we can continue. I could generate new data again and I must then hit the pick new points for me to get into this mode. I can generate data for this line 
hit done. In addition to going to the actual data, we do create a graph of the data. Okay, so this is the data I generated. If you wanted to change the plot type, you would double click, and like any graph, we can change the plot type as well as the different symbols as needed. This lets me get back to the image. When I close this dialog, this would delete the results here, but hitting the X would close the dialog itself and it would leave a digitizer button on the graph. So at any point, you can get back to those settings by clicking that button. It will get you in here and you can continue to generate new data as needed. In addition to the controls up here allowing you to go to the worksheet and to go to the graph, you can always use the Project Explorer window as well. So here we have the data that was generated and we have a graph that was automatically created from this worksheet. But of course you can plot this data again or add it to any existing graph that you might have. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.